There are three dark forces at play sabotaging your success without you even realizing it. Just a year ago, I realized I could have accomplished so much more, but these three dark forces were holding me back the whole time. In this video, I'm going to share exactly what these three forces are, how they're impacting 90% of Muslim men today, and what you can do right after watching this video to fight back right away. Okay, this first dark force is something you can't really avoid completely, and it can lead you down the path of crime, addiction, or simply feeling like a loser well into your 30s. But you can change it. And if you do, it can be the rocket fuel that propels you forward to success every single time, inshallah. So Mike Tyson, he grew up in a bad neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York, but his boxing talent was undeniable. And under the mentorship of Cus D'Amato, Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion at just the age of 20. He had crazy speed and power, of course. Now, after his mentor D'Amato passed away, he started mixing with a new crowd, a new group of people. And you know how the story goes. These kind of people, they were exploiting him for his wealth and taking advantage of his money. And these bad associations, they actually led him down the path of divorce and getting in trouble with the law. Not to mention he wasn't doing as well in his professional life as well. And you see, hanging out with this bad company eventually led to him getting convicted of a crime I can't really mention here on YouTube in 1992. And he actually got a three year prison sentence for it. Now, once he came out, he went back into the ring. He was working hard, but he never quite reached the peak that he did before. Now, can you imagine because of this dark force, he had actually made $300 million in his career, but he filed for bankruptcy in 2003. So this dark force that held him back and could very well hold you back is your friend circle. They can push you towards your goals, hold you accountable, and even compete with you in good. Or if you end up with the wrong ones, you can end up a loser like them. So what can you do about this right now once you finish this video? Start associating with people that you actually look up to, who are a little bit ahead of you or even way ahead of you. And you can do this very easily in the form of reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to interviews. This could be people successful in business, in their fitness, or even in their Islamic studies, their ibadah, and their character. This is actually a way to spend time with amazing people, maybe people not even alive now, but you can spend time with them through books, podcasts, interviews, videos. And then also in the more medium term, instead of just having friends that you met in school or work or wherever it was, go to places where top people hang out and make friends there. For example, join an MMA gym, go to the masjid often, attend classes and actually mix with those people. And inshallah, if you've gone to the right places, you're gonna end up with a better friend circle. And these people won't just not take you down the bad path, they'll push you up the good path to succeed in your goals, inshallah. Now, Allah swears by time. And we are actually losers unless we spend that time properly. But this next dark force actually guarantees that we waste our time. And at the same time, it's really hard to push away. You see, when I was studying in university in Abu Dhabi, I kept to myself. I didn't realize it, but I was lonely. And at the same time, I discovered Twitter. We're talking 2008, 9, 10 kind of times. And this gave me a connection with people, although it was a fake one. But next thing I knew it, I was checking it day and night. This was before I even had data on my phone. I was just going on my laptop and checking Twitter just to see if I could get that little buzz from my post, from my tweet getting retweeted or someone replying to any of my tweets. And in a short amount of time, I'd actually gone on to tweet thousands of times, which is actually embarrassing thinking of it now. And after all that, what did I have to show for it? Nada. And eventually when I thought back at it, it really hit me at the time I'd wasted. And not only that, the information that had been constantly going through my head at no benefit to myself at all. So I did it. I quit my favorite social media platform. I sat down and just being honest with myself, I realized I couldn't control my time. I couldn't minimize the time I spent on it. So I decided to cut it off completely. And if I look in the mirror and tell the truth, every minute I spent on it was actually a waste of time because I got nothing out of it. I didn't have anything to show after years of being on there and thousands of tweets. So I deleted my account. And now Alhamdulillah, I don't even have to struggle with that because I don't even have an account in the first place. I don't have to struggle with my use. I don't have to come off as rude while I'm checking my phone, while someone's trying to talk to me. And most importantly, that's hours every day that I've got back now that I can use 
use for my own benefit. So really, bro, take this seriously. You can achieve anything that Allah allows you to achieve, but you cannot do anything without time. So your action item, once you finish this video, is to go and delete that account. Go and delete it. And if there is some little tiny benefit, some sort of benefit you can get from it, then maybe just delete the app off your phone and you can use it on the desktop. You could also use the inbuilt features in a lot of the phones these days to control your time spent on it or use an app like Freedom or something where it can block you from accessing the app for certain hours of the day. But yeah, use your time for your own benefit and not for the benefit of the Zerk. Now, let me ask you a question. Why is it that no matter how much you hate your job or how much your colleagues distract you and waste your time at work, you still get everything done on time? And if you could be like that with your own life goals and not just when you're at work, imagine all the goals that you'd meet and all the success you'd have. You see, across 138 studies involving 19,000 people, this is not a small study here, it was found that there is one thing that massively increases your chance of actually hitting your goals. They had people monitor all of these participants and see how far along they got towards their goals. And this one thing increased their likelihood by 95%. And yes, I said they monitored their progress. What does that basically mean? It means holding them accountable, having someone watching over your shoulder, someone checking on you, asking you, did you do it? You said you would do it. Now, have you done it a week later? Have you done it a month later? And it turns out that this is a game changer when it comes to getting things done. So the dark force of procrastination can be smacked away with some accountability. And how can you get that? If, for example, you want to read more, then don't just try and read more books and force yourself into it. Get a friend, join a book club, and actually have that accountability. If you want to learn Arabic, don't just get a book or get a course, but actually get a teacher who's going to be waiting for you a couple times a week to actually do a lesson that you're not going to miss. And if it's for your health, for your workouts, then get a coach or a personal trainer to make sure you show up for the gym and you actually push yourself while you're there. This is a game changer for making sure you actually stay on track and eventually hit your goal. And by the way, if you want help with this, getting accountability, getting someone to actually push you ahead in life and succeed, and when you look back at your year, you think, wow, I actually did everything I planned to do, then check the link in the description. You can join the waitlist to join the front row. So these dark forces of loser company, wasting time on your phone, and procrastination really can drag you to the depths of life. But if you want to know the traits that will push you forward, that will make you into a real man that you respect and others do too, then watch this video where I analyze and break down Hamza Tsotsis' amazing interview on masculinity, Islamic development, and Andrew Tate, of course. So click that video right now, and I'll see you over there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.